The next of our reactions of alcohols we're going to look at is a type of chlorination. Now, I'm going to go through chlorination properly when I do the chloroalkanes with you. But the reason I want to go through this one now is because it's a really good test for telling the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. It's called the Lucas test, using a chemical called the Lucas reagent. The way that's made is we get anhydrous zinc chloride, so basically zinc chloride powder, and we dissolve it into concentrated hydrochloric acid. That gives us a solution with lots and lots of chlorine ions, or chloride ions I should say. And that we call a chlorinating agent. So it's going to be able to add the chlorine atom, in the form of chloride ions, to things. So when I get an alcohol and I react it with the Lucas reagent, it becomes a chloroalkane. Chloroalkanes are not soluble in water, and this is an aqueous solution, this Lucas test. So therefore, this, if it's made, will not sit, will not dissolve in the mixture we've got. Alcohols do dissolve in aqueous solutions, so these two start by dissolving together. Then, if they're able to react quickly enough, you'll observe two layers forming. And you've got a, normally got a clear layer on top, it's also colourless. So clear means I can see through it, remember? Colourless describes its colour. And this is our aqueous layer with the alcohol and the, the aqueous parts of our reagent that haven't reacted yet. The bottom goes really cloudy, and that's showing us the chloroalkane, which is non-polar. So here's an example of this happening. 2-propanol has got this OH group. If I add Lucas reagent, it will substitute this OH for a Cl to make 2-chloropropane. The reason for this being such a good test is that it will react immediately. Here I've got a tertiary, and I'm not sure if you can see that it's got a cloudy layer at the bottom. This was 2-methyl-2-propanol. So what's happened here is that it immediately separated into the two layers, and we've got the cloudy layer at the bottom and the clear layer at top. 2-methyl-propan-2-ol is a tertiary alcohol, and that happened immediately, straight away. I saw the two layers. However, if I do it with a secondary alcohol, it goes a little bit slower. And if I do it with a primary alcohol, I'm probably waiting all day for it to happen. So this can be used to tell if we've got a primary, secondary, or tertiary as well, by looking at the rate of reaction. If, there are, if it makes two layers immediately, and that thing does not oxidise, so doesn't have a colour change with dichromate or permanganate, then we know it's a tertiary alcohol. If it creates two layers, but we're not sure how whether we'd call that immediately or not, but it makes two layers, then it's got to be secondary or tertiary, if it happens sort of within a couple of minutes. So then I look at my oxidising to see if it's secondary or tertiary. If it forms two layers, but can cause a colour change with an oxidising agent, then it's secondary. If I've given it five minutes and I still don't have two layers, then I can infer quite safely that it's a primary alcohol, because its rate of reaction is so much slower than the other two. So the Lucas test is a really good way to tell if we've got primary, secondaries or tertiaries. It's hard to tell the difference between secondary and tertiary, so we reinforce that with the oxidisation reactions.